According to Armstrong, international reward management and performance management is a holistic process which contributes to the management of individual employees and team in order to achieve a high level of organization performance. It aims to meet the needs of both the organization and stakeholders. Also, it contributes to acknowledging employees' high performance and rewarding them with benefits. Based on theoretical concepts, the following presentation will thus look at both performance and reward processes and analyze the approaches taken by hospitality organizations to implement the, the best course of action. It would therefore be interesting to analyze how Starwood Group, one of the most global high-end hotels in the world, has used employee management in order to achieve its current status with nine distinct lifestyle brands, award-winning loyalty program, and 1,081-400 talented associate world rights. According to Johnson Robinson, the Starwood chain of hotel is comprised with over 1,027 hotels across nearly 100 countries. Naming the group as one of the largest in the world, Starwood has over half of the operations in North America and the Caribbean and the rest being spread across Europe, Middle East and Africa. We offer a lot of great benefits working with Starwood. Anything from fantastic and class leading learning and development opportunities, training, um, being able to stay in our beautiful hotels all across the globe at a discounted rate is definitely a benefit for working with Starwood. According to Wade and Ricardo, performance management is defined as a set of protocols put in place to ensure organizational goals are being met in an effective and proficient way. Organizations practicing performance management tend to design a model specific to their organization or the operation it may be applied to. Therefore, there is no universal model for performance management. However, Cardi and Len Lenard states that most performance management models are designed around the cycle model. According to Armstrong, the performance management cycle will begin with performance planning. Employees will be notified of objectives and standards and what the organization expects of their employees. Management performance will come next where employees will be trained, resources and budgets will be provided and all the tools necessary to meet the organization's expectations will be provided. The next stage in the cycle will be reviewing performance, where the organization will provide feedback or performance to the employees to keep them on track. And finally, the cycle will end on performance rewarding. Managers will provide rewards, material or psychologically, in order to keep them. Originally built in 2000, Sheridan's first com leadership competency model looked at 24 competencies arranged under six performance areas. Critical for the success and effectiveness of the business, the 24 competencies model was later reviewed as it was no longer appropriate over time. Thus, Sheraton now focused on the competencies that truly differentiate performance and can really make or break someone's career. Performance management, 360 degree feedback, talent review and online development centers. Every year, the performance management process, known as PMP, includes over 10,000 managers evaluating associates on their potential for advancement and analyzing how they have performed against the branded competencies he or she is responsible for. Performance management can play an important part in a total reward system in which each reward element is linked together and treated as an integral and core and whole. International reward management involves the management of all aspects of rewards in organizations operating worldwide or at least in a number of countries. The reward system must fit within the overall management system of any organization and must reinforce and support desired behaviors and culture. Besides acknowledgement of their contributions, employees want to feel appreciated and recognized for making a difference and contributing, not just to their company, but to the world. While tangible rewards such as individual merit-based pay, knowledge-based pay or any other special achievements bonuses provide lasting trophy value and ongoing goodwill toward the company program, what really drives people is not money. Recent studies affirm that incentive programs can boost performance up to 44% if conducted in ways that address all issues related to performance and human motivation. A number of non-financial rewards provided by performance management would include the provision of opportunities to succeed, skills development and career planning or enhancing job engagement activities. 
Starwood offers usual benefits in all the branches. That includes insurances, paid vacations, savings and retirement plans, business travel and accident insurance, shares, etc. Organizations such as Starwood Hotels may choose to offer their employees a number of incentives, most of the times in the form of financial bonuses. According to Admod and the author's experience, Starwood gives discounts to their employees on various company products and services, cheaper hotel and dining rates in any of their international operations. At the same time, Starwood employees are eligible to participate in board elections, annual incentive plan, Starwood long-term incentive compensation plan, etc. One of the common challenges met by MNAs when looking at international performance and reward management refers to the gap between the realities of the host country and the perception about subsidiaries, the evaluations of the rating and the rate. When evaluating and rewarding a geographically distant employee, the rater must fully consider social, economic, political, legal or cultural differences. Challenges may also re uh, relate to the technical assessment as sufficient criteria for international selections or to the employee perceptions regarding the fa fairness of their performance appraisals and rewards. Although a franchise model has challenges such as maintaining alignment between the interests and the priorities of the hotel owners and operators and those of the brands, Sarur Hotels has been able to build and sustain a culture that determines how employees run the hotels, interact with guests and deliver their experiences that cuts across any barriers. Through their focus on giving responsibilities and autonomy, autonomy to employees and clear career progression opportunities, Sarur Hotels have been able to nurture and keep the best talent. To conclude, it has been established that our performance manager has comprehensive benefits when looking into an international concept. It faces difficulties, cultural differences may create cultural barriers to the workforce, making it difficult for senior members to make appraisals on working employees. This can also affect staff productivity, which in turn will reduce organizational performance. The appraisal process involves evaluation of a staff member, providing feedback and making reviews. International employees could therefore be affected when it comes to reward management due to to not adapting well in a company with different social norms. As a result, they may not perform well. Although there has been a strong agreement between studies upon the importance and the need for international performance management, it is yet to be decided which is the best way to conduct performance management in an international context. While it is virtually impossible to standardise the international performance management system, as a result of the many contingent factors presented, MNCs need to devise a company-wide system maintaining some degree of flexibility. As per observation, it is recommended that in order for employees to be more satisfied with their MNEs performance management, the process should be clearly defined based on a valid and reliable criteria, easy to understand, fair for all employees regardless of their nationalities, with a regular and positive communication flow between employees at all levels.